thing. Cold, I have a cold that's fighting me. Big time fighting me. But it's going to be. Alright, so. Um, I told you about the projector called uh, JMGO. Um, that's how I pronounce it. But anyway, this is the projector. We had a customer, also we had a customer contact us. And the customer contacted us and um, wanted to know if that particular projector would work on our screen paint product. Because I told you this was going to be coming. This is going to pop up. <coughs> Usually this is what we go through when we're dealing with these particular projectors that um, that don't live up to their specifications. And when they don't live up to their specifications and the promo demonstrations, they're not matching what the customers want to see. Um, they come to us because again, this is a script projector that's shown on a white or gray screen or a light gray screen or a white screen, majority is a white screen. And the contrast definitely is not going to be there. The color is not going to be there. It's not going to have any form of ambient light projection technology because that's not going to be supported on a white screen. It's just not going to pull correctly and the colors and stuff are going to wash out. It's going to be a very poor image. And this is where customers will contact us asking us, with the screen paints we develop, we specialize in ambient light projection technology. We have that black coating, and they want their projector to react as we do in our videos. We, talk, we go through this all the time. So we'll pop into these form sites and have these conversations with these individuals, asking them very serious questions. Questions that they don't want people to answer, talk about when it comes to their projectors. They want them to stick to their script. I knew this projector was using pixel shifting. There is no way in the world that you're going to operate a 4K projector for at the price I saw the projector coming in at, at around $1,000. Now they're a little bit higher than that. But still, you're talking about pixel shifting. I see this a lot with these unnamed brand projectors. If you're charging $2,500 or $3,900 for a projector, there is no way in the world that thing should be sitting on 16,000 to one or 1,600 to one, where it is, <coughs> or uh, pixel shifting. You should not be using pixel shifting. I showed you in the demonstration that the ViewSonic projector, but they have different models of this particular projector that they want more money for. But the one that I saw, they wanted like um, $1,100. No, they wanted a thousand dollars. The ViewSonic actually has native 4K. So again, you can see I'm talking to the author of the site, like we did with the Valve projector. Same thing. I'm gonna start crashing a lot of these parties and going and having these conversations with them. <clears throat> Ask them some very serious questions. Right here, you'll see at the top, and you'll see where people came in and acknowledged what I was asking them. We waited a couple of days. I didn't get a response back right away. So it was two days when I actually made the comment and nothing came up. So basically the question I asked them and question and credit sir question is it really 4,000 lumens? The reason why I question that because in every single demonstration I saw someone do a review on this projector, it was an extremely dark environment. If you got 4,000 lumens on a projector and it hits the screen, the picture quality <coughs> is going to be performance is going to be as good as the screen. But still you're going to see a very bright image come off the screen because it's an official 4,000 lumen projector. And this is something I wasn't seeing. Even if that projector missed the screen or did a splash off, you would still see white light generating off the screen and splashing everywhere in the environment. Didn't see this in any of the demonstrations. That light basically did not produce enough energy to produce from the ceiling to the walls. It maintained the screen, which means the projector was never 4,000 lumens. That's what I picked up from the demonstrations. And no one did any demonstrations in fully lit environments. The ones I saw that did have some lighting, it still was a controlled environment. So these are the problems that I told you I don't like about the industry. I don't like these Cracker Jack projectors that are popping up all over the place. They don't have any real uh, specifications, no tests on them whatsoever, and they push them out like it's just, it's, un it's unbelievable how fast they push these projectors out. They do the fast promo demonstration, they talk about this, they talk about that. They must have mentioned the word 4K over and over and over again, and here we find out it's not 4K. It's pixel shifting. I can't express this enough. The companies who push out these projectors with these ridiculous price tags attached to them and sit there and say, oh, na um, um, pixel shifting is the same as native. No, it is not. I've seen debate on this. It is not the same thing. And pixel shifting is nothing new. You guys come on and talk about tri lasers and all this stuff, and it's new. It's not new technology. You know how old pixel shifting technology has been around? It's been around forever. Just different new ways they add to it. But really, 
you're using a, comp a system to compress the pixels to make them sharper and make them brighter. <clears throat> which means you do not have the proper resolution count of pixels to produce actual native 4K. Therefore, you do not have 4K. That's literally like me taking a Honda, no offense about people who drive Hondas, and putting a Lamborghini kit on it. It may look like a Lamborghini on the outside, but on the inside, it is not a Lamborghini. It is a Honda. That's what it is. And that is not 4K. That is, that is using a pixel shifting technology to fool you to make you think that you're seeing real 4K or not. <coughs> I'll tell you one thing you'll find out. Hook up an actual 4K setup with 4K audio. See what happens. See if you don't have a couple of seconds delay in there because it's not picking up properly because it's not registering as a 4K projector. Mm, yeah, that's going to pop up. Now. Did I see any demonstrations of the projector outside? No, I asked some questions about that. How was the performance? If it's 4,000 lumens, it shouldn't have too much of an issue being a fire up outside. <coughs> How does it operate on darker screens? I've never seen a demonstration on any of these projectors operating on heavy gunmetal screens or black technology. It's always very light screens. You know what the problem with the light screens are gonna be, right? Contrast, color, and very poor ambient light rejection capabilities. That's what's gonna happen. I don't care if it is 4,000 lumens. If you hit that thing with a screen and that screen's white, guess what? It's going to wash out. You watch my promo demonstration where, you, not my promo demonstration, my um, testimony demonstration with the church. They're using a 7,000 lumen projector. They can't produce it on a white surface because it's washing out. So what good is that going to work for you at 4,000 lumens if you do have that on a screen inside? <coughs> okay. Excuse me. The contrast, excuse me, the contrast capability questionable. You know why? Because every time I watch a demonstration of one of these projectors, they will darken the environment to show contrast levels. That's not good. If you're talking about you're using a whopping 4,000 lumens on your projector, you should be, number one, be able to eat through some of that ambient light. And with the contrast levels, you should maintain a somewhat decent contrast, or say, shade of gray, because you can't do it unless you have a black screen. Question is, can it see a black screen? Can it pick up on heavy gunmetal screen? There's a lot of questions here. So they tell me they're not avoiding the questions. We're not avoiding, we, we've never avoided the specifications. Pixel shifting 4K is common solution in DLP projectors. No, it's not. It is not, that's a lie. And I'll tell you why. Because I've had tons of DLP, DLP projectors. As a matter of fact, I had DLP projectors when they first came out, when they were talking about DLP projectors versus uh, LCD projectors, which one were brighter, which one were better. DLPs were much brighter, but they're a little bit more expensive. And then you had to go through that whole freaking, uh, from the rainbow effect, good gracious. You ever had one of those before? I've had a rainbow effect. I know what it feels like to have one. It's a very bad experience. It literally feels like you're having some kind of psychedelic, psychedelic, uh, 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 like rainbow out of body experience. It's freaky as I don't know what, but I literally had one before. They generate off white screens, they do that. But that's one of the problems you have with DLP projectors. You have a dead pixel problem. You used to have them. If you ever, if you ever experienced that, where you get a little white speck on your screen, and you come back and there's two, three, four, five, six, there's dozens of them all over your screen. That means the mirrors on the DLP are damaged. It's as much as like your transmission on your car going just by doing it because that's where you're hitting at. Sorry about the, the noise in the background. Um, let me see. So DLP, no, 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 no. I've never seen pixels shifting ever in a DLP projector when it first came out. And, <coughs> and uh, keep in mind, excuse me, for <coughs> projectors we have now, that have DLP name brand projectors. Tell me when you've seen pixel shifting in any one of those. No, it'd be native 4K. That's a cheaper way of doing it, doing that pixel shifting nonsense. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, which can, uh, can effectively balance the uh, product's performance and cost? No, product performance. Yeah, it costs. Yeah, because you're not getting real 4K, so it costs less to do it. That's why. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, producing product performance and cost. Uh, we have replied many times before, uh, let, uh, Pastor is here to refer. We take pixel shifting 4K, but groundbreaking ML, let's see, a triple color laser projector. I, I doubt it has triple lasers, and I'll tell you why. It's a 4,000 lumen projector. 
it's not generating enough light to be a laser. I can take a Casio projector at 2700 lumens and I can actually probably overpower that projector. That's an actual laser projector. You walk in front of that bad boy, you will find out. You walk in front of this, <laughs> I doubt it. Even if it has <clears throat> only projectors I've seen, maybe it's something new, but only projectors I've seen that have kill switches, if you basically lean over top of them are ultra short throws. Because you're going to be right up on top of the thing. But a projector from a distance that's firing a laser, how does that basically keep the customer from being hit with the laser? Does it have an automatic sensor? Does it have a kill switch? These are some of the things I asked about some of these projectors. One of the problems when they first started bringing out projectors that had laser capability, the people were literally walking in front of these things and they were getting hit by these things. Castle is a perfect example of that. <coughs> Castle is one of the projectors that had the original laser set up. And that projector literally has a warning sign on the side of it, even a lens cap that's silver on the other side. So when you basically uh, turn off your projector and you have it on standby mode, the laser is always active. That's why it has to hit that silver surface and bounce back into the chamber. If you don't have that there, you can be exposed to the laser, which happened to me in the demonstration. I got hit by a laser and man, it was not a pretty, it wasn't a pretty experience. A lot of blurriness in the eyes. So if this thing is firing off the laser, how is it basically protecting the consumer if they're moving back and forth? I'm, I, I got to look into that a little more deeper into that. That's something else that's just been curiosity popped in my head the last couple of days. <coughs> just move this down real quick. So, from what I've seen in the demonstrations, that screen doesn't generate 4,000 lumens. And if it's not generating 4,000 lumens, because it should be much brighter than there, mind you, 4,000 lumens hits this white screen. You look up at the ceiling, and if you see bright, I mean, like, bright light illuminating off the, off the wall, if that's the light reflecting off the screen and hitting the environment. I <coughs> didn't see that. <coughs> so I doubt, excuse me, I doubt that triple laser. Hmm, I don't know. Let me test that machine. I guarantee. I, I already explained to him, yeah, send one over here. I'll test it for you. I'll definitely test it for you. I'll drop that thing on black screens, gunmetal screens, fully lit environments. Yeah, because it should be tested. It needs to be tested. Here we have right here, triple laser light source, 4,000 lumens, uh, an S and LSR technology to help uh, users enjoy top 4K experience at, at, at sorry, in this price range. Uh, please assure that the viewing experience will be excellent with it. Yeah, I doubt that. The reason why, because the demonstrations I saw on the screen, one fellow had half of his blinds open, half of them open, and that screen washed out. I sat there in a demonstration with a Sony uh, VPL CS4 projector at 1,000 lumens, 720p, 600 by 800 res, at 11 feet from the screen, and was able to operate and generate in a fully lit environment, which was far brighter than any of the demonstrations I saw in the review for that particular projector. Please explain that one. And on top of that, with our black technology, it pulls up that 100% contrast. What bothers me is that we get customers, like I said, we went through this mess with the Valva, we went through this mess with the, um, the Wemax, that will buy these projectors, not get exactly what they think they're going to get out of it, see our demonstrations, and they think we can fix the problem. We can't fix the problem. We literally have to turn these machines away because they do not work on our, our technology. <laughs> see the headache I went through with the other customer who basically sent me two containers that they weren't even ours, they weren't wrapped correctly, they were opened up, they were tampered with, there was cost contamination between the paints back and forth, it was a headache. All of that because this projector wasn't, wasn't properly fitted for our stuff, for our products. All right. Also, we do not have a specification uh, recommend, recommendation uh, regarding the screen and our users can project on white walls. So, AKA, you have no testing on black technology or gunmetal darker screens. So, how is the, does the projector really produce on these particular surfaces? Because I've noticed that <coughs> my time of testing, that these particular projectors do not work on darker screens or gunmetal. They can't register and pick up. I told you before that if you've got 4K, if you have 1080p, you're not supposed to have those projectors on these light gray mixes. You're not supposed to have them on white screens. This is a technology that's engineered for much darker screens. This is how you advance your contrast levels. If you have a projector that has a 2 million to 1 contrast, you cannot advance your, con your darker shades of gray if you're on a white screen. 
The contrast will only give you those darker levels the darker your screen becomes. So if you have a screen that is mid-gray, it's going to pick up darker shades than the white screen. If you have a screen that's gunmetal, it's going to pick up darker shades of, of dark levels than the mid-gray. And if you have black, then you don't need it. So your contrast is going to react to how dark the screen is. I've never seen a projector literally hit a white screen and produce a 100% black level because the contrast level was that high on the projector. That's not going to happen. <laughs> and if they do have it, the capability is not going to be cheap. So he's saying also we do not have specification recommend recommendations regarding the screens and our users can uh, project, uh, project on a white wall if needed. Why are you going to project on a white wall? What, what are you going to achieve on a white wall? The reason why the cheapest screen you can buy is a white screen. <coughs> the screen is going to have no color, no contrast whatsoever. The object is what happens if you want to upgrade to a much darker screen to enhance your picture quality, which we get all this is what we get all the time from these customers. You can't do it. There's no demonstrations on this. This is why I requested demonstrations on darker screens to see what the reaction would be. Okay, if needed. Uh, we would suggest you may try projecting without a screen first, then decide if you want to use the screen to suit your preference. Your preference. All right. That's that's a poor, 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 very poor answer. And I'll tell you why. Why the freak are you going to hit a white wall? Do you have any idea how fast a screen washes out on a white wall? I mean, it literally has somewhat of a fighting chance on a gray screen, a light gray screen, but on a white wall, you're in a complete washout. That is not picking up for Jack at all, period. So <clears throat> you're back to not only are you dealing with a projector that doesn't give it give a proper performance, but now you have cut that performance down to even half or even less than that because now that projector is going to have an extremely hard time trying to generate color and contrast and <coughs> use ambient light. <coughs> Sorry, use an ambient light environment to operate on a white surface. On top of that, white screens don't possess ambient light rejection technology, nor do they pick up proper contrast levels. We've done these tests thousands, thousands and thousands of times. This is why when you watch Elite Screen, Black Diamond, any one of those big companies, they'll compare their technology to a white screen. This is the advancement that your projector will get, and you use this. Or I get used to compare this to a white screen. This is how much you're missing from your screen. We do it all the time in demonstrations. So if you got a projector that really doesn't have specifications that really pick up on that level, what do you think you're going to do with it when you hit it with a white surface? Hmm, there you go. Whatever, whatever little specifications you have, you will lose it on the white screen. That's not enough. I don't want to get banned from here. I don't want to get banned. I always get banned from these places. This is me displaying to them, showing them. That's my Black Series Edition. Ambient light rejection screen paint using a 720p projector, Chrissy LW401 at 720p at 4,000 lumens. You see how sharp that image pull? That's a 4,000, an actual 4,000 lumen projector. That projector over there can never pick up that level. It won't register. Questions I ask. Our, our, our outside demonstrations, but all in all, cases where I was getting down to the nitty gritty of it all. Let's go up here. See if they have been removing me. Yeah, I kind of went in on those questions. Here we go. I don't play around when I talk to people. That's why I said at the end of the day, the reason why, and I hate to put these people in here, I don't. But they are perfect examples of people who don't know what they're talking about. You can never come in here and you can never talk because you don't know what you're talking about. They do have an idea. They do have an idea of how some of this works. They do. They do. The mumbo jumbo that Danny speaks on his channel, they would laugh you off of here. Jamie doesn't even know what he's talking about. He couldn't even discuss. He doesn't understand how ambient light rejection or black technology work. He wouldn't even be to understand any of this. So you have to know what you're talking about when you're in here. You have to be explained to them where they're doing this wrong and completely wrong. And you have to challenge them to show, show me at the end of the day that I'm wrong and you're correct. So you have to know what you're talking about. So I didn't see any outside demonstrations on it. One of the problems I'm going to have with this projector is the fact that the projector can swivel and hit the ceiling. That's going to be a problem for me. And the reason why is because we make a screen paint that operates off a of ceiling. The problem you have there is that projector is not going to be able to pick up on that black technology. 
it's not going to work. If you're saying that the white screen, or prefer to use it without a white screen or use a white screen, there's <coughs> a big difference in that in black technology. It's not going to work. So right here, I'm asking about the question about the 16,000 to 1 contrast. This is what I'm, I'm asking about right here. Let me bring this down a little bit for you. All right. Uh, does the projector 16,000 to 1 and 4,000 uh, produce a black level this dark and maintain in a fully lit environment? This is why I can't express enough when I watch people do demonstrations on screen paint products faking contrast levels using projectors with extremely high contrast capabilities to darken the screen's ability to make to make give it that illusion is coming up dark and then they introduce this to a dark environment. Anytime you show off a contrast level, it must be done in a fully lit environment. This is why I can walk into that room and show them these pictures because again, we do these kind of demonstrations. When you cut corners, you can't back your stuff and you can't basically come in here and have these debates and arguments and whatever you want to call them. So I'm asking them to send me pictures or videos. I want video demonstrations of that projector operating in a fully lit environment. Not those environments we saw those other projectors sitting in. I want to see a fully lit environment and I want to see a contrast only. I want to see how the contrast level picks up on a white surface. We know where that's going at, right? We do. All right. Um, here I'm discussing with them about... Well, this is what they asked me. Um, they were um, talk back. They asked, no, sorry. This is a company right there. As you can see, we're actually talking to the company itself, right there. So you see right there. Having a conversation with the company. Right there. This is their conversation with us. Uh, now this is another one I have here. Asking about the ceiling. Because this is going to be a headache for me, and I know we're already from the door. Sorry about all the questions, but there are so many questions that need to be answered. Not only that, I saw the promo demonstration, and it wasn't enough. It was it wasn't enough going. On. It was a lot of hype. Um, it wasn't enough information. Um, let me see. Add some more in there. All right. It wasn't enough information on the product projecting on the ceiling with uh, with, with this. Okay, project. I might, might have made an error and I have to go in there and, and recorrect that. Uh, project on the ceiling with, with this. Um, projecting on the ceiling. I worded it better, but I'm going to clean it up. Um, projected on the ceiling. Uh, will, okay, okay. But projected on the ceiling. Will this work with the ceiling lights on? Didn't see that in any of the demonstrations. Just saw the thing moving around up and down. Can you operate this when I turn the lights on? No, it's not going to work. Number one, your ceiling's going to be white. That's going to happen. It's going to be white. Only time people paint their ceilings black with this technology, they're going to be used for an expedition, or they're going to be using it for some kind of display or a dedicated theater room. This would be fantastic if this thing had real actual specifications and actually did exactly what it said, having a swivel base. <coughs> that would be pretty cool because that means I could bring one in here and just whoop and hit the whole entire ceiling. That'd be cool as on the white. But it's not going to pick up on our screen. We know that already from the door. So anyone using our screen paint and deciding to buy this projector, let me give you a little heads up. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna register on the screen. And we can't test it, we don't know. We're not gonna basically waste the money on it to find out. But I, from what I've seen already, with the projector already saying, I sat there and said, I doubt this thing is 4K. Already, that's another flag that popped up. Not actually 4,000 lumens, another flag that popped up. So again, no, I'm not going to spend the money for it. That's personally me, I wouldn't do it. All right, so. Mind you, if someone's going to be buying our screen paint, please call me or email me before you buy any projector mapping ceiling screen paint from us so we know your projector. Email me your projector. If you mention one of these machines, I will cancel your order because it's going to be a headache for me. That's why. <coughs> right here, I'm asking the question. Now, not everybody's going to be in the dark 24-7. Some people may use this for other things. This is the thing you got to think about when you're developing screen paint products. Not everybody's going to operate in your environment. This is one of the things I see, the biggest mistake I see when people are displaying or doing projectors or screen paints. They will stick it in a comfortable dark environment to accommodate their video demonstration. What happens when the customer takes it outside of that element and put it in their element? What happens? Does it operate correctly? Does it do the exact same thing as you're showing in your demonstrations? 
this is going to be a problem for us right here. So we tell them in the door that so um, so many questions from the demonstrations. Uh, <coughs> the ceiling will this work with the ceiling lights on? Here's a demonstration of a black series edition amulet light rejection screen paint. Uh, let's see, let's see, paint, uh, paint it. Should be paint it. I'm printing. I got to come here edit that. Fix all that. Uh, uh, print it or should we paint it paint it to a ceiling using a 3000 lumen NEC M300 WS at only 720p can the JMGO do the same with lights on and produce a 100% star field contrast level on the 16,000 to 1 answer to that it ain't gonna happen number one lights gonna wash that projector out even faster Two, <coughs> 16,000 to 1 and you're talking about a white surface that is not going to pick up at all nothing's going to pick up three you can't run it on our black technology it won't register at all period it's not going to pick up anything at all so that here's the image i'm showing them that's what i want to see notice there's no wash up there's multiple layers of black going on i can't even find that freaking demonstration it's a pretty cool one too all right um they're responding back to us too good because they got a lot, they got a lot of answers in here. They got a lot of answer. Uh, Sixteen thousand one contrast and four thousand lumens. Uh, can oh, they removing our pictures? Oh, they're removing our pictures. Oh man, I'm so god, thank you. I got this recorded right now. They're removing our pictures, and they're getting a little aggressive too. Yeah, there's supposed to be pictures here. Remember, I just showed you pictures here. I showed you pictures of women with the black makeup on and everything. Yeah. Right. You know, this is why I responded to them the first time. I asked them some questions, and nobody responded back. Remember, I, I posted that two days ago. <coughs> nobody responded back. I'm still waiting for answers. Hello? You know? All right. Uh, Kenneth Berta, hello. The contrast video, daytime, nighttime, will be available on April the 10th. you got to be kidding me. Let me get this straight. i got to wait until April the 10th. You're selling a projector now. You're, pro, you're, you're promoting this machine, you're selling this machine, and you're bragging about how this projector has this deep contrast and all that, and I gotta wait till April the 10th to see a contrast demonstration? Are you freaking kidding me? So you can't take that machine, stick it in a fully lit environment studio, put a screen up there, and just show me a star field demonstration? That's it? And that's, I re, that's what I requested, a star field. Sorry about that. See right here at the top? I requested a star field. This is their answer back to my question. 16,000 to 1 at 4,000 lumens. Can we get a demonstration in a fluid environment without ambient light control? Uh, one, uh, ambient light controlled one. And a black level contrast only displaying a dark star field screen saver. Thank you. My reply get back from them. Kenneth Bird, hello. The contrast video in daytime and nighttime will be available around April the 10th. Please stay tuned. Well, guess what? April the 10th, I will be there. But it, you shouldn't have to do that. Keep in mind, if you're advertising a product, everything should be included in that. That's like me developing a screen paint over here and saying, well, guess what? We can't show you that part until so-and-so-and-so. <coughs> no, you have to see all of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's a very important part. The contrast is a very important part. It's something you should see up front. Okay, I'll wait for that one. But they're, they're deleting my pictures. I can see that. And I put down still waiting up later on. Let's see. This is their promo demonstration for the projector right there. So you can see right there. There's no way in the world <clears throat> that projector is 4,000 limits. You know why? It's too small. You ever seen a lamp for a 4,000 lumen projector? Unless they changed them. But as far as I'm concerned, I've never seen one change. Look at the size of the lens on it. The lens on a 4,000 lumen should be about the size of a, um, of a tea saucer. They're big. There is no way in the world that's, that's compact. And look how dim it is on top of that. This is supposed to be a DLP laser projector, and it's coming out that now. Uh, there's just so many things wrong with that. It is not even fun. It's not, not even funny. This is the kind of, and then again, like I said, we're going to get hit with the backlash of it all because I've already got three customers that came in and talked about the Kickstarter. <coughs> they gave me a link. I guess I want to find out about this whole thing. <coughs> Ask me, does our product support it? No, it will not. We don't support the projector. Uh, let me see. All right. Um, here. All right. Here. 
But I told you it was pixel shifting. I sat there and told you that projector is using pixel shifting. That's a cheap way to go, man. This some responding back. What is it? This isn't responding back to something else, too. Let me see. That's some responding back there. Okay, we responded back here. Pixel shifting is not. Oh, this is me responding back to them. But my, um, pixel shifting is not real native 4K. You're only compressing the pixel to give a, a give out a give out the illusion that the image is displaying a sharper and brighter image. So in reality, you don't really have enough pixels to produce a real resolution count for 4K. Mm, that's what it is. That's pretty much what it is. That's the same conversation I had with Valve on their projector. Uh, there's a difference between native 4K and compressed 4K, uh, compressed 4K pixel shifting. As in, for as for the 4K, uh, 4K, 4,000 lumens, I, I've, uh, I own, I'm sorry, I own several, um, several um, commercial projectors, which I do, uh, several venue projectors, which we do own here. Uh, projectors, um, let's see, project, commercial projectors, and some are 4,000 lumens, so I know the power and lamp size of a 4,000 lumen projector. <coughs> You're huge. This is a lot of in here. <coughs> I'm dying in here. I'm literally dying. The cold is trying to kill me. That's some bad cold. This one's literally trying to wipe me off the planet. And it's not going to happen. I gotta go get my herbal teas and stuff like that today. This has to be done. See, people, when you see me <coughs> doing these demonstrations with these blacklists that we have, and we have people exposed on these things, you know, there's so much stuff <coughs> that you need to see and know. I do this because it's not because of jealousy for other people's products. It's not about that. This needs to be done right. There are a lot of people who are going to buy these machines, and they're going to get duped. And you know what? You know, you know what that backlash is? It's us at the end because they will buy our products without looking through the specification, and then come back and we get a headache on our hands about someone saying, "Oh, your product didn't work. It came out too dark." Or what's your projector? It's a GI Joe. Yo, what the freak is that? See, I remember a point we didn't even see projectors like this. At one point, all you saw was nothing but name brand projectors. These projectors didn't even exist when I was coming up. It was nothing but name brand. You got a machine that worked at the end of the day. Not this. I'm just probably these things don't pop up on the QVC. All right. So I own several, I did a cough drop real quick. I own several commercial projectors and some are 4,000 lumens. So I know the power and the lamp size of a 4,000 lumen projector uh, and what it must take to operate correctly. Uh, from what I've seen in the many YouTube uh, video reviews, just about all of them had to use the projector in a very dark environment due to the screen washing out. And that's what I saw in the demonstrations. And does anybody really mention the promo? Um, as a very dark demonstration to see it wash out. Also, there, that, sorry, also, there's that uh, 1601 contrast. <clears throat> Come here, some stuff in here. I really bad some spelling here and fix this. And they are rushing here while I was doing this. Uh, contrast, uh, can. Uh, can you see? Okay, can you can you show me a demonstration in a fully lit environment with black levels only? By the way, I specialize in ambient. Sorry, I specialize in ambient light projection technology. Gee whiz, Google freaking butchered the crap out of me. I gotta come here and fix all that real quick. Because <clears throat> I'm speaking all this in as I'm actually typing it at the same time. They butchered the crap out of me on that one. I'll go and edit that all in. They made it point no time at all. So anyway, this is what I'm displaying for the ceiling. This is what I want to see. I want to see a demonstration like this on that projector, full lit environment. I want to see this. this is what I'm requesting. And they're talking about I got to wait till April the 10th in order to see these demonstrations. Why I got to wait so long to see the demonstrations? Why can't you just get a studio and just set this up? It shouldn't take that long to do. Get a studio, put the projector in it, put a room, get rent something, whatever. You just stick it in a room somewhere. Pull up a screen and show me a contrast level in this projector. You know why? Why? Why have to wait until the tenth of April? Simple and plain. Heck, you didn't gave out the projector to a bunch of other people. Have them do it. They got the projector on ready. Send a request to one of them. Hey, can you do a review on the projector in a fully lit environment? Enough people had the projector. You didn't think to give them this particular form of information from the door. That's another thing that pretty much forced me right there. You have enough people did reviews on this machine. How come you didn't give them that right there to begin with? You can give them that right now. They have your machine. 
So why do I have to wait until April the 10th? That sounds like stall time to me. I'm going to screenshot that one. Let me see right here. And then we got the promo on the projector, kickstarted, is that any other? You know, it's sad, and I'll tell you what's really sad. It's sad because the new people, people that are getting into the field, people who have never purchased a projector before, these are the people that are falling into these nightmare traps because they don't know. Anybody like me or anybody who's been in the field for a bit or even if you, know, if you had a couple, even if you had a good projector for a year, you would know. You would look at that and go, uh-uh, no, it ain't going to happen. There's no way in the world. So people that have had some experience would see this and walk away from this. Only people that would support this are people that are trying to get views or trying to get people to um, to entertain their channel. But no, you shouldn't do that. If the machine doesn't work pro properly, you shouldn't entertain it. Like I said, at the end of the day, if any one of these companies came up to me and said, hey, Mr. Bird, we'll give you some money. You can keep your money at the end of the day. I'm not sticking my name on that thing at the end of the day. I got to have something that works. If I'm testing it, I'm not your yes man at the end of the day. I'm not going to smile on your face and say, oh, this works. No, I'm going to test your product. I, I suggest you strongly don't send me one because I can see you guys cut so many corners on this projector. Even the people who did the reviews, these are supposed to be respectable YouTubers who basically do reviews. How dare you take a projector and stick it in that dark environment and go, oh, the picture quality was absolutely insane. So this projector does an amazing image. Lie, 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 lie. Guarantee if I get that projector, I bet you I won't have the same review you have at the end of the day. I guarantee that thing will wash out. Heck, I won't stick on it only on our black screens. I'll put that on a gray screen and white screen and put it in a fully lit environment. No, they didn't do it right. There's so much that wasn't done right on this machine. So I'm advising people who watch this demonstration. I'm advising people who, um, who watch our demonstrations to stay away from this machine. All together, save yourself the heading and stay away from it. Let's see. Um, let's see. Hello there. Here we understand your concerns about the JMGO. Um, let me see what you're saying right here. Um, it's one of the earliest uh, companies in development um, in home theater and home and home projection industrial establishments. It was okay. Industrial establishments in 2011 and has won over. Uh, 400 patents and designs and awards over the years. All right, let me tell you something. That doesn't mean jack to me. That don't mean crap. Because Valve said the exact same thing about their projector when they claimed it to be 6,000 lumens. Found out that projector is 1,800. Throughout the entire demonstration of this projector, one of the things they talked about the most is it was 4K. And any of the promos, did they mention anything about pixel shifting? So if you weren't honest enough to mention that in the promo demonstration, which I'm going to watch again, and you kept claiming it was 4K, even when I go on the site, you even have the pixel count as it is 4K, but it's using pixel shifting. How do you have a native resolution of a native uh, a, a pixel count of a projector if it's using pixel shifting? That's the most backwards thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So I don't care if it's... If you've sold 4 million copies, if you sold this or that, that doesn't make a difference. Your projector doesn't do what it's designed to do. That's all to it. You just figured out an extremely better way to sell it and to sell it to individuals that are not going to ask a lot of questions. If you had a million of my kind, you wouldn't make a dime off that thing. Uh, so he says, uh, let's see, uh, trust it by hundreds of millions of families worldwide. So, <laughs> Ultra 4K laser projector launching on crowdfunding platforms it's our first step in direction in getting connected with early supporters and hitting up with real uh, uh, retailers let me tell you something buddy our black technology is the best any projector well projected with name brand we can connect our technology looks absolutely outstanding i know from the door that your customers are going to fire this thing up and since you said it with that you made the mention about the white screen we know it's going to happen that contrast and color, all that's going to wash out. They can't use it for the environment. They're going to hit the ceiling. It's going to wash out. They're going to be in the dark 24-7 with this, and they're going to see everybody else in fully lit environments with our technology, and they're going to want the same thing. The problem is we can't support them, so we have to turn them away. And what's going to happen, we're going to explain to them right from the door is, in order for you to be able to use our technology, you're going to have to get rid of that projector because it won't work. 
And then sooner or later, they're probably going to come up with their own projection screen saying, hey, look, you know, we can give you better picture quality if you buy this particular projector. We saw it with Valva. <coughs> what happened? Valva matched the white screen at $700, so $1,000 for 120 inch. This is the future, people. It's messed up, but it's true. All right. <laughs> after all, pay attention to uh, something like that. Our, our new products, after all, you know, always pays attention to thinking um on the user's feet well no you did not at all period <coughs> okay <clears throat> sorry about that people all right that's <coughs> all so i want to make sure we out of that so the conversation everything that went on i want to go over to um this is the actual site so you can see we're actually on the site their site let's see right there we're actually on their site so this isn't somebody who's trolling us or somebody who's um <coughs> trying to uh make seem like no this is the actual company we're having the conversation with right here we've seen this projector that's the projector i showed you the ultra short throw the one that makes the claim that um if it's 2600 lumens and you hit this on a, a screen that's ambient light rejection it automatically jumps the lamp to 36. Mm. all right so let's go over to real quick i need to go to uh let me see where's it at <coughs> Make the name of this projector real quick. See, so I'm asking the question right here. Hi. Somebody asked, hi, is the projector true 4K or pixel shift? See, there's a difference. And he just sat there and said to me in that demonstration, did he reply back? Let me see if he replied back. Did he say one reply back? Double standard. This is how we reply back. It's pixel shift. And so far, I know they are allowed to call that true 4k no i'm sorry that's not true 4k that's a lie you tell me when pixel shifting is called 4k you don't have enough pixels to produce 4k so how do you have 4k You're going to tell me, now I'm going to sit there and spend that kind of money for a machine, and you're going to tell me at the end of the day, oh, it's not real 4K, but it can produce like it's 4K, and therefore it's 4K. No, it's not at all, period. If you're going to pay for a 4K projector, you pay for a 4K projector. That's the dumbest thing I just heard right there. He just literally just answered that customer by saying that, um, no, but what are we just said right here, so you can see it right here, that, that, um, is pixel shift and so far i know they are allowed to be called true 4k how is it true 4k if you don't have enough pixels to make true 4k how is that even more that doesn't even make any sense so how is it true 4k that means you're lying about your pixel count so okay let me just straight it does pixel shift well, we're just gonna put some fake numbers up there and say it actually is this but we don't have enough to make this that's literally what you just did. Gee whiz, Louise, I swear. My goodness, that's absolutely horrible. No, 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 buddy. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, find me. That, that's a lie. That's a complete lie. <coughs> that's not even possible. Because that's the case, that means all these name brand projectors can do the exact same thing. <coughs> they can just all keep pixel shifting. There are debates, and they talk about this, and other people who do these for, um, for 4K and for entertainment will tell you right there from the door. Any form site will tell you that pixel shift is not actual 4K. It is not. It's a way of just compressing an image to make it tighter, to make it brighter, to produce that image. It, it's not real. It's like 
If you ever had the PS1, you remember playing Tomb Raider on the PS1, how jagged the edges were, and really bad pixels were jagged looking, and then you got the PS2, and the PS2 used to have an option with backwards compatibility, that if you stuck a PS1 game in there, if you constantly tapped X, I think it was X one of those ones, tap X, you can actually compress the pixels, give it more sharper and more rounder, rounder without the jagged edges. But, even as hard as you pressed on it, didn't make it a PS2 game, did it? It didn't look like a PS2 game. It was a little bit better, but it wasn't an actual PS2 game, was it? No. So here you go. That's what you got right there. That's like when Comcast used to have those cable boxes. They had the cable boxes with the DVI in the back of them. And <clears throat> they would say, hey, it's the same thing as 1080p. It wasn't 720p. It was just a better, it was a better compressed uh, um, 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 720p. But it wasn't actually 1080p. Come on, man. It is what it is. Except it's nothing new. Except it's been around for a long time. I'm ticked off by that question he just gave him like that. That's crap. It's it's considered 4K. Alright, whatever. Alright, so let's go over here. <coughs> let's go over two. I want to look at... This is the projector I was looking at right here. This is the other customer. Who bought this projector at a thousand dollars? Oh, this one who bought the projector at a thousand. This is another company with a fake projector. <coughs> this is a customer who tried to <coughs> who tried to dupe and wrap up the containers. I don't know what the heck was going on with that one over there. But anyway, this is his projector right here. You know the same company who makes these foolish projectors. Uh, let me see right there for you. There you go. You get the name of it. Makes these foolish projectors we don't support. They want a thousand dollars for this unit because I'm looking it up. And from what I saw in the demonstration, the video, if you ever saw the video on this, this is the video right here. This is supposed to be his video of our product. I showed this in a couple of form sites yesterday. They were just also awesome. like, yeah, he literally changed his camera to make it darker. Because again, anyone that sit there and say it's not possible, you are not connected to the earth. You are not. You don't understand how the laws of physics actually work. If a screen darkens, the environment doesn't darken with it. So we turn your screen on it dark and your entire environment goes into a full supernova blackout. That's what happens. And if that's the case, then there's something wrong with you in your house. Something weird going on with that. No, you can clearly see where he basically adjusted to make the screen darker. They're watching this and the form site we dropped it in. So right here, as you can see, let me shrink this because you can't see jack work too far. Here you can see the image in the background where the light's at, everything's coming up clean. I just want to show you real quick. Now watch that lamp right there. Everything's bright right on the screen, right? Yeah. There you go. How in the world the entire environment darkened over the screen? That's what I'm talking about. But interesting, what I found, and the reason I bring that back is because that projector did produce on the screen, and it's not a projector we support. If the customer was honest enough instead of trying to cheat us out of more paint and sat there and said, um, hey, the projector's working perfectly. It's nice. Oh, it's the model number. I could have put that projector on this. We don't have enough tests. And, if, and I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to spend $1,000 for a projector. At the end of the day, when I can go get a ViewSonic, that's a 4K, and it would cost me $1,100. It's not worth the money. But anyway, let's go back to this projector right here. The JMO. JMO. That projector right there. Um, the JM. Uh, oh, projector. We got it right here. All right, let's go take a look at this projector. It's on Amazon right now. Should be on Amazon. They don't have it on Amazon. We'll track it down someplace else. These are a couple of these machines that they make. These things are definitely serious knockoffs. Definitely stay away from that. I swear, if someone calls me up with this projector, I'm going to slowly hang the phone up on you and wish you a good day. You spent how much for a machine that's that's not even native 4K? That's not native 4K. That's picture shifting. You paid how much for it? I I I I'm done. I, I can't. I can't on that one. Sorry, but I can't. This is one of their projectors right here. <laughs> See, this is one I showed you. One that was actually in their in their what you call them in their um in their on their their their, their channel. This is the one they want. Uh, $2,600 for it. It's 2,400 lumens, right? All right. 
This is what I mean by I don't trust anything they make because they come with some really bogus specifications. <coughs> right here, people. Excuse me. Projector is 2400 lumens, right? JMGO, right? Ultra Short 32, or right? due to or Ultra 2, we're going to call it. It offers 2400 lumens of brightness, capability of producing 3600 lumens on an ambient light rejection screen. So, 2400 lumens. Uh, Lumens without screen, and then providing a crisp, clear image even in the daytime. It says even in the daytime. No one was in the daytime with this projector. Not one person. Everybody was sitting in dark environments with it. We we did the we did the witchman call the uh, field trip. But what's interesting about it is is the fact that the minute you hit an ambient light projection screen, that projector's lumen count automatically magically turns into thirty six. No. It, 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 that's not possible unless your projector has two lamps in it let's see if we can find this projector who has one of these machines uh, let's go over here see if someone has it because it's not on, it's not here I've seen a couple over on eBay let's see if we can find this machine I'm gonna get a copy of that first and I'm gonna go for a search and see who else has it all right let me see they got it over here this is on Kickstarter this is the actual it was it's Kickstarter right here Let's watch the promo demonstration on the Kickstarter. Kick, um, Kickstarter. Now here at the top, it's advertising that the projector is um, the triple color laser optical projector, 4,000 lumens, 4K. Doesn't say one thing about pixel shifting. The word we're looking for today is pixel shifting. Do they say in, anywhere in the promo demonstration that this projector is pixel shifting or are they claim it to be actual 4K? <coughs> Judging by what he said to the customer, that pixel shifting is considered to be native 4K. We all know that's a lie. Let's bring this out a little bit for you. That's the part that bothers me right there, right here, that background shot right there. Because any customer watching this thing, wow, can you send a fully lit environment with the lights on? That ain't gonna happen. See the illusion that they're giving off? All this light in the environment. If you notice the background right here is always dark, but this is all animation anyway. But yeah, let's make it a real light. It's gonna have a lot of light come in. You can use this projector in a fully lit environment. You put it anywhere you want on the ceiling, it's gonna produce. No, you hit that thing on a white wall, the color, and everything. you know what's gonna happen. The color is just completely washed out. And we got projectors over here that are basically name brand projectors in here, and they're legit. And we hit that on a white screen, and that thing doesn't register on a white screen. What makes you think that's going to register on a white screen? <laughs> and right here, right in the bottom, it says 4K triple color laser. All right, so as mentioned, there's no pixel shifting. We're not getting anything up here about anything about pixel shifting. Uh, let's go down here, and of course, you're not going to mention anything about pixel shifting. You know why? Because you just sit there and just told that per the person who answered about is it actually native 4K or is it pixel shifting? If the person knew that there was a difference between the two, I mean, if there wasn't a difference between the two, he would have never mentioned it in the conversation. He would have said, oh, if you, if "We already knew from the door." Let's say we know this is a real thing. We all know that Nate, that picture shifting is actual 4K. Say that's true, okay? Why would you ask that question that, hey, is this 
difference between native 4K and pixel shifting? If we knew that pixel shifting was actually 4K, there'd be no purpose to ask that question. The reason why he asked that question because he knows that pixel shifting isn't native 4K. It's compressed. It's a compressed image. He wants real 4K. So, am I getting real 4K or am I getting pixel shifting? Well, as far as we're concerned, that pixel shifting is the same as native 4K. You're a lot of pixels short. So, question I need to ask, since he made that statement, how many pixels does this machine actually register? Because it doesn't do, if it has to shift, then that means it has a certain amount of pixels that are missing to make actual 4K. That's the question I have to ask. We got that on the Valva because on the Valva projector, the guy broke down the folly with enough pressure, said that the projector was, the Valva was a 1080p base projector. This is what I do, people, I'm trying to get you the truth to help you out here. Look, if this projector was legit 100%, it did exactly what it said, I would support it. No problem whatsoever. I would. But I knew that it, it couldn't because there were things that were wrong with it that I was watching this projector. Something was wrong. You heard me say on camera a couple of times, I said, it's not 4K. It's not picking up. I'm not seeing it. Because the screen is not picking up enough detail, it's washing up. And then I'm thinking like, okay, maybe it's a screen. <clears throat> but I've got 4K, but I had 4K projectors. I've had it on white screens. You can see a little bit of a difference in there. Black technology, you can't pick it up because, again, on black technology, it's a screen that's produced an insane amount of detail and depth to the image, which actually makes it virtually hard to be to tell one from the other because it's a blacker surface. When you're dealing gray surface and white surface, the imperfections are going to be able to be displayed more. That's why you can't pick up color. That's why you can't pick up contrast because, again, those screens are going to show what they can and cannot do. Oh, it's just so much sometimes, I tell you people. I don't mind doing this. I actually enjoy this. When I first saw the message pop up, I was laying down. I was like, oh, shoot, they responded back. <clears throat> we got to have a talk. But I didn't realize that they're actually going and telling people that it's the same. It's not the same. And people who don't know better are going to believe it's the same. Oh my goodness, it's, just, it's a mess. All right, let's go over here real quick. I'm on this side over here. I'm all over the place over here. Let's get this real quick for you guys. You know, because I don't like to talk about stuff and not have, and not, you know, you know, you know me at the end of the day, what kind of person I am. I don't like to talk about stuff as I back it up. Let me see where we had this at. No, and I heard him say that in Valva when he said it was a 1080p. I was like, what? Like he actually said, I was like, screenshot, click. So now every time somebody comes in and they talk about buying the valve, like, no, don't buy that. That's a 1080p projector. <coughs> Let me see. Ah, where are you? Where, where? Okay, there you go. Right there, right there in that file. Couldn't see it. Staring right directly at you. Couldn't see it right there. All right. I'm going to collect this one, too. Put it right up. Because my trophy on this one is hearing him say pixel shifting. That's all I needed him to say, is that it was picture shifting, because I know what picture shifting is. They advertised this projector like it was 4K, 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 and it's not, it's picture shifting. And if they ever tell you that it's the same thing, it's a lie. Because then ask them at the end of the day, all right, so how many pixels is this machine actually generating? How many? Because if you have enough to do 4K, then you don't need shifting. You have actually native 4K. So how many pixels do you actually get that they have to compress to try to equal it to 4K? Here we go. Conversation I had, same forms, a different form of sight. This is with Valva's projector. I had a conversation with them. Asking the same question about the whole pixel shifting scenario. Asking what the pixel ship, um, pixelations were. And he broke down and finally said the Valva projector is a 1080p pixel shifting 4K projector which can receive and display 4K images. No, 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 no. It's a 1080p. It's not both. It can't be a 1080p and 4K. You're one or the other. That's how that works. That's, that's, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. It's 1080p, but it's 4K. And at that, that one, I think at the time, only had a 3,000 to 1. Yeah, it had a 3,000 to 1 contrast. A 3,000 to 1 contrast. If you're going to buy... A 1080p projector, just buy a 1080p projector. Like I said, Ultima GT 55 and 56 is a projector that comes in at a whopping 3,000 to 3,600 lumens, depending on which model you get. That projector right there couldn't even pull up at 6,000 lumens. It came down at 1,800 lumens. And then on top of that, 
you're getting a 22,000 to 1 contrast on the Altima GT55 and 56 models. On that one, you're only getting 3,000. It's a poor, watered-down version of a 1080p projector. That's what you got. This right here is, I'm looking for that 4K. I mean, showing this pixel shifting. So there's nothing about pixel shifting here. Um, do we have the actual site itself? Let me see. This is the actual website. Okay. Let's see. Let's hunt for the word pixel shifting. That's what we're looking for. And now they probably hate my guts right now. But you hear that? I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because this thing is a headache for me. I don't, every time, and I, we're going to put this thing on blast. And you see it on here. Let me tell you something. Give you fair warning, people. Fair warning. We don't make great screen paints anymore. No great products, no backups, nothing. If you own this machine or any machine like it that's not on our list and you buy that product, you're stuck. Can't get mad at me and say, oh, they scam me. No, we didn't scam anybody. It's right there on the website. How much would I have to blow it up in giant writing and just stick it up there? It's right there. As like you're driving down the street and a sign clearly says that the bridge is out and you drive and go over the bridge and sue the city because it's their fault because you you didn't read the sign that's clearly in bright red with lights all around it saying, hey, bridge is not even there. And you just crash off the side of the bridge. And you literally have people that are like that. Honest to God, you have people that are like that. They'll blame everybody else and go, oh, it's their fault because, you know, yeah, bright sign right there. So we have this plastered all over the site telling you, do not touch. If you have one of these projectors, do not buy them. And if you do have one, contact us. We can tell you to return it because it's not going to work. <coughs> Our information's right there. We've got company phone number. We have email. <laughs> sorry. And we have every way you can contact us. We're on Facebook, Twitter, every place. You can contact us. I want to reach us. And the number's right there. I get an alert that goes off on my cell phone when a number when somebody calls. I can go right there. I got an app on my phone. I can go right there and answer your question just like that. So there's no excuses for it. So these are for the individuals who read into this mumbo jumbo nonsense and think, ah, yeah, this will work on this product. Even though he doesn't support it, I feel it's going to work. Those are the worst ones. And they'll go out and buy it, find out it doesn't work, <coughs> get some charge back, or get some complaint against our account that's saying that it wasn't as described. <coughs> then we'll go in, sorry, <coughs> to your bank of institution or PayPal, and we'll send them our policy on the website that clearly says we don't support the projector. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to lose your claim. The money's going to be transferred back to my banking account because it's a product that I, you bought from me. I designed it. I produced it. And I have to be paid for my product. It's not free. So at the end of the day, you can save yourself a whole lot of grief. If you just read through the specification sheet. Now, I'm not talking about people. Who, I know people who do read through it and people who do contact me. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Love you much. But for you individuals who think because you're brainwashed by this stuff at the end of the day and you think it's going to work, I'm here to tell you it's not going to work. Don't do it. You will lose your money in the process. I'm not returning your money to you so you know this. You have my product, you painted it on your wall. Unless you can Harry Potter that thing back into a container and bring it back to me 100% legit when the way I shipped it out, then we can talk about that. But other than that, if you can't bring that product back to me, there's no way in the world you're going to get your money back. And if anyone sits there and says that's wrong, it's not wrong. That's why the information is right there. So you don't have to go down that road. Or contact me so I can tell you, no, that's not going to work. There you go. Simple and plain. So if anybody takes that out of pre-content, at the end of the day, don't care. We put it there crystal clear. We don't support the machine. If it's not on there, we don't support it. Look right here where it says right here. 4K. 4K Ultra HD resolution. Anybody see the magic word pixel shifting in here? Anywhere. Anybody see it? Let's go take a field trip real quick. Let's get real close to the screen. Tell me if you see it. What he just explained to that guy in there about pixel shifting. You see it in there? I don't care if I'm wrong or wrong. I will apologize. You know me. I'll keep it real. Let's see. Let's go down here. This section over here. Now 
Nothing? All right. Let's put it back in here and stand. Can't say one thing and then say another thing. See what happens. What I think is, I think with a lot of these projectors, these particular kind of projectors, they just have to go to the bare minimum. Just enough so it's passable. That's what they go through. It has to be, because there's no way in the world that <coughs> these machines should be passing. I'll tell you one thing, y'all better th thank your lucky stars that I'm not in charge of that particular field, because man, y'all projectors, I would literally have so much fun tossing those projectors out. I would literally have a catapult literally built in the backyard for it. Literally. If we test it, I guarantee you, it'll work. Why are they displaying these in dark environments? This is supposed to be a projector supposed to produce in a fully lit environment. <coughs> well, that's not going to work. There is no way besides screen that they said this thing can project it with pixel shifting. <laughs> you know what happens with that little, that little problem. Didn't see that in, in any of the promo demonstrations. We watched people the promo demonstration, we saw something like that, but <coughs> with the people that were doing reviews, I didn't see this. 4,000 lumens. A little dark to be in at 4,000 lumens. Contrast, and dark contrast levels, no. Oh, yeah, really hyped this up big time. Like watching a soda commercial in the 1980s. Literally, like a Pepsi commercial. Okay, Michael Jackson doing a little moonwalk and got there dancing, dun, 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 they blow it up, dun, 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 dun. and you're sitting there, meanwhile, nothing's happening to your can of soda, yours must be broken. I think Jerry Seinfeld did that one. <laughs> Billions of colors. I literally did not see that. Half of those colors, were, I think, it was washed out. Still looking for that magic number. That, what it says. So you're supposed to get a more sharper and vivid image with the lasers. Well, no, I'm not. Lasers do have the capability. I'm, they do. I'm not saying they don't. But proper projectors who have that real technology can do it. This one can. I'm literally not seeing anything here. It says anything about pixel shifting. Not one thing. You would think that'd be something that would be mentioned, right? Especially if you're claiming a projector to be actual 4K. But like I said, by their standards, they actually believe that for that pixel shifting is considered to be 4K. It's not. If that was the case, and pixel shifting was considered to be 4K, then at the end of the day, what do you? If you have 4K, you have extra pixels. That's really what you have is a bunch of extra pixels that are. What did you just pay for a projector for extra? That doesn't make any sense. You need those pixels. That's what makes the 4K. The more pixels you have, the more sharp and more vivid the image is. So how is not having enough... I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm going to literally fry my brain on that one. So they're saying 4K resolution at 3840 by 2160. That's what they're saying. But yet it requires pixel shifting, which it never states anywhere on the website that it's using pixel shifting. And pixel shifting means you don't have enough pixels to have the enough you don't have enough pixels to come up as native 4K. Notice it's not even saying native up here, because it's not native 4K. And that's it. <clears throat> See, this is the reason why we go so thrill on this because if they ever try to take me to court on this, I can come and say, look, I went through your website. I looked for a pixel shift and I didn't see anything on there at all, period. Not a thing. You have everything up here stating that this projector is a 4K projector and it's not. You have the native resolution. You have the resolution for 4K, but you basically just said in a statement that basically that native 4K and pixel shifting is the same thing and it's not the same thing. 
If you have actual 4K, you can display your pixel count. You should have at least 3840 2160 or 4096 by 2160. That's what you should have. That's like me taking a fisheye lens, which I did from a camera, and sticking it on a projector with a 16-10 aspect ratio to try to mimic and produce a 235.1. It's producing a somewhat um, um, fake 235.1, but it's not producing actual 235.1. So, no. And then you don't mention anything about it. What you're talking about there, you don't talk about here. It doesn't say, oh, well, it uses pixel shifting technology, but, you know, you're, you're claiming it as it's actually 4K, because I'm not seeing that here. You can't put down that pixel count. You don't even have enough pixels to make that count. Where would you be getting them from? So for the pixel count they put down there was 3840 by 2160, and you're using pixel shifting, where are you getting the extra pixels to make that particular form of, of that number? Where are you getting them from? Because <laughs> if you have that number and that's what you're producing, that's your pixel count, your literally real actual pixel count, then you don't need pixel shifting because you already have native 4K. <laughs> Gee whiz, that's not hard to understand in court. That's why I hope more companies like Epson and applaud out the Epson for doing an amazing job for calling bull on Valva. Yeah, if you don't know about that, Epson went in to file a lawsuit against Valva because Valva was going out there and claiming their projectors were 6,000 lumens. And it found out that they really did. And keep in mind, when a guy sat there and said, well, it's been testing it, that don't mean jack at the end of the day. People can cheat on that kind of stuff at the end of the day. Apparently, Valva did it because when Valva popped up with the 6,000 lumen projector, they were talking about how he has 6,000 lumens and the profit brightness and <coughs> it's been tested and da 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 And Valva and, and Epson was like, nah, that's not 6,000 lumens. That's lower than 6,000 lumens. And they called that bluff. And they went in, they filed a class action lawsuit against Valva, which Valva lost and found that the projector was only 1,800 lumens. Oh, my goodness. I find it interesting that, I guess, I don't know. If these guys right here who do projector reviews, if they've done enough projectors in their timeline, you, your eyes should be, uh, um, should be harnessed to be able to see what actually you seen you've been around enough projectors you can tell the difference just by looking at a projector when it turns on which is which is what is what because you've been around it and so it's like people who basically who who are, are bakers and chefs very 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 few of them were use measuring cups they can literally put the ingredients in their hand and tell by the weight on how much ingredients they need people that are like master mechanics i mean people before you came up with all the technology and sensors and all that stuff you can just turn on an engine and just listen to a car and tell exactly what needs to be fixed these are people that are masters in their crafts so for people who have been doing these reviews for so long and have all this information they would be able to tell the difference they looked at that projector who was actually functioning at the level it was that's because at the end of the day they're being paid to be yes men because there's no way in the world you're going to tell me that projector is 4k and right there, he's going to say it's pixel shifting. And I knew it was pixel shifting. We just couldn't get him to say it was pixel shifting. But finally, when I got that response back and he told me it's pixel shifting, yeah. Um, what is your actual resolution pixel count? That's what I want to know. Oh, I'm in here. Let me fix some of this stuff in here, too. I'm in here. Making me sound like I'm illiterate. All right, let me see. Here we go. Yeah, don't remove me. I do not remove me, because which move on did that nonsense? That should banned us from the page. Let me see. Um, let me see here. This is where 
screwed me up badly in here. Yeah, it's supposed to be contrast. That's supposed to be a T for contrast, and this is supposed to be ambient light. Or just put in, we specialize in ambient light injection technology. Injection technology. That's an easy way of putting it. And this I is supposed to be capital. Gee whiz, you can text on your phone to a bad idea. That's supposed to be a capital right there. Let's see, make sure we make mistakes. This is shipping technology, not only 4K. Only compressing for shipping is the illustrated. Blah, 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 blah. Mass for 4,000 limits. Only several projectors. Commercial projectors are without <coughs> limits. <coughs> and the size is operate. From the, this is supposed to be a capital. A capital I. Right, right there. This is supposed to be a capital I. It's one of my biggest problems not putting my capital I's in there, you know what I mean? environment with black levels and a fully environment kind of specialized. Okay, that's good. Um, let me see what we got here. Oh, sorry, not the question. Information. Administration of us here. Paint. Paint. Paint it. Not, not, uh, print it. Paint it. Paint it. Let me see what we got in here. Paint it. Paint it. Paint it. Paint it. Just saw it a few minutes ago. Uh, let me see. Just saw you. I just literally clicked on you. Um, paint it. Shit, paint it. Here's a uh, paint, paint. Paint it. Oh, caps are on. Paint it to a ceiling using chip uh, pass cool. This right here is interesting. I'm going to come back and discuss that. The reason why I'm going to come back and discuss it because I want that noted. In this video, is a lot going on. I want that noted. That's basically what you call... Why would you have to wait until April the 10th? I don't get that one. I don't... That that's, doesn't make any sense. I'm definitely going to reply back on that. You know I am. All right. So that's everything right there. I'm going to try to correct some stuff in there. But I was pretty typing pretty fast. I was interested. I was figuring out how long they're going to take before they pull me down. When we having that conversation with them. Sometimes they will actually pull you down. Alright, let's make sure we're better that shit. Alright, question I need to ask them. Where are they at on here? There we go. Uh, is that responding to me or am I responding to them? Uh, let me see. I need to respond to them. Okay. I need to ask a question of what is your actual resolution count? Uh your projector. See how fast we get a response on that one. Because you can't say that the projector is is pixel count is 3840 by 2160. You can't say that. Because if you're if you actually have that, then why would you need pixel shifting? It's not necessary. So what is the actual count that pushes you or has to make you use pixel shifting to try to achieve that goal. That's what we need to know. This is why they probably hate me so much. But eh, somebody's going to answer questions, don't they? Uh, what was the other thing that I needed to know? Oh, so to, oh this right here. <laughs> We're going to talk about this right here. This section in here. Was it this section right here? Which one is it? Oh, let's see. Yeah, we need to talk. We're going to talk about that section there when we come back in. Um, why we have to wait so long to see a demonstration? April the tenth. We're going to mark that date. I will be in on April the tenth to see a demonstration of that projector. Excuse me, that's coughing off in a fully lit environment. And I mean fully lit environment. I don't want to see uh, dark corners and no. I don't want to see that nonsense. I want to see fully lit environment with that projector and a measurement on how far that projector is sitting back from the screen and a good size screen size. Here's how big a screen these things do. <coughs> Let's see. Sorry about the coffee people. Let's see. How much is the screen size is going to be? Because keep in mind, if we're doing 600 by 800, 720p on a black, on a black surface, right? A black screen, 
we're going to have very little disruption because again it's black technology it's designed to add more deep and more depth to the image so that image doesn't deteriorate so fast <clears throat> if you're talking about a projector that's being it can only be produced on a white or light gray screen you're in a lot of trouble i mean a lot of trouble because again your detail and contrast is not going to be there and keep in mind these surfaces are not ambient light rejection technology you're going to have some problems in there so your picture quality is going to drop dramatically so i need to see what is the size that we're getting out of this for the door let me see um, so i want to know what their actual Val actually said there's 1080p from the door. That's why when I get people who come in, like the guy called um, Phantom HD, who thought he knew what he knew about his own projector, your projector is not even 4K. It's a 1080p projector using pixel shifting. And if that projector over there is using pixel shifting and is using actual 4K, then he would have never mentioned anything about 1080p. So let me see. Um, we just had, we just had this projector in here, let me see. Yeah, this is the ViewSonic projector I was talking about. They wanted for that projector. Besides the other projector I just saw, the one the customer had, the one that was about $1,000. You can just, $1,000 using pixel shifting, by the way. And this projector right here, same little Q projector, actual native 4K, right there. Only about... I say about eleven hundred dollars more. That's basically about it. But anyway, um, I need to go back and find out where the other projector is at too, real quick, because I gotta get out of here. Well, actually, I actually come back and I gotta talk a little bit about that. <coughs> I got some other things I gotta take care of today. Talk about the coffee people. Don't mean to do it in your ear. I try not to. Early bird special. That's not even worth that. And they're asking thirteen. They're asking. Thirteen, um, thirteen hundred dollars, or four, sorry, fourteen hundred dollars for that projector. Early bird special is fourteen hundred dollars, and I just showed you a ViewSonic projector that is around eleven hundred dollars. That's actual four K, native four K, not using pixel shifting. Same type of projector, and that projector is actually brighter than this one. Uh, let me see. This projector is really four thousand lumens. It's not four thousand lumens. That's virtually impossible from what we've seen. But I'm trying to find out. This is what I need right here. What is the screen size? Does it say anything about what size screen we're going to get off this thing? So let me see. Let's just take this whole section right here. Oh, we haven't popped over to Projector Central on this. Projector Central have anything on this thing? Hmm. They usually got everybody on them. Let me see. the screen sizes for the thing. We just have the Kickstarter right there. What's the actual screen size? Oh, 123. I don't know why they didn't kick in my head a few minutes ago. Literally, just they said that multiple times in the video. It's 123. Gee whiz. And that didn't pop in there. Usually, I remember screen size is pretty good. It's 123 inches. That's what it does. All right. These were smart enough not to put it at 150 inch because that would have been a doozy. The projectors who have pixel shifting and try to do 150 inch, that's not going to happen. There's no anywhere you can expand and compress at the same time. It's not going to happen. See, the sad thing about it is people like, and I hate to put these people in my video, I really do. But people like Danny and Jamie will buy this projector and talk about the high points of it all. And they don't know jack. They're literally doing the same thing everybody else is doing cheap definitely cheap that that's basically but i cheat cheap at the end of the day <clears throat> that's what they'll do yes men we don't do yes men over here we tell you exactly what it is 
But what I see, yeah, it'll pick up on this great, well, I can't even call it screen paint. We all know what that stuff is. But anyway, it'll pick up on my wall over here with no problem whatsoever. Because the guy sat there and said best to do it without the wall and then do it on a white screen. That's the only two options he gave you right there from the door. Then gunmetal and black technology is not going to register on that at all, period. <coughs> okay, we got that right there. All right. <coughs> Sorry about that, people. Coughing up a lung here for you to get this done. Um, from what I've seen already, I'm glad they did respond back to me. I do thank them for that. Thank you so much because they didn't have to respond back at all, so I appreciate that. Uh man it's 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 not good it's really bad because again i sat there and said in the video when i was looking at the 4000 i was like there's no way to the thing is 4000 lumens everybody sat in the dark and if you hit a projector at 4000 lumens you're going to have backsplash all over the place some friction of the so i wouldn't see that illumination all around the screen it wasn't really producing that and then with the little bit of the light that the person had in his demonstration it was barely pulling up it was just, it was washed out in that little bit of light in that environment. So I couldn't imagine if I stuck it in here what would happen if it completely washed out. It's definitely not going to work on your ceiling. You're going to lose so much. If you're in the, if you're in the dark, then you, that's the only way you're going to be to maintain. But to turn those lights on, eh, it ain't going to happen. Your screen's going to walk whoop, right on out. It's going to be gone. Contrast, color, all that, you're not getting that. If you can't get that off a white screen, and that's the only thing that projector can operate on, then pretty much a white screen is going to diminish whatever you have on your projector. It'll knock it off about half percent. It's going to be gone. And that projector doesn't even have enough in the specification sheet to even withstand a somewhat decent image on a white screen. Well, I can't wait to see the people popping over this bad boy. All right, so this is projector enemy number one. This is a big one because, again, it has a swivel base, and we make that projection screen. People want to think that they can pretty much use it on our ceiling. No, that is not going to work. So we're going to have that posted there. I can't say this enough. Please listen to me when I say this to you, and I'm upfront and honest with you. This thing will not work on our technology. You understand? If you get this and you're trying to do the same thing we're doing in our demonstrations and your screen's washing up, because we are, after what I've seen from the reviews on it already, we know it's not going to work in those environments. It has to be in a certain dark environment. Good luck turning your living room into the back cave. You might as well buy the suit while you're at it. That's pretty much where you're heading at. But anyway, sorry about that. We don't support this machine. We don't make the gray paint anymore for the site. If you buy our screen paint products without reading through the specifications that we have on the site for you, warning you clearly, do not buy products or projectors that we do not support. It's right there. You need to see it up close. It's right there. You can go to my shopping cart, my website. These are projectors we only support. We have another one right here at the very bottom again. Telling you the exact same thing. Let me already find this girl real quick. We got it. Sorry about that. It's in here. There we go. Telling you the exact same thing. All right. And on top of that, go to the black shop, click over. And my mouse work. Click over, all right? And you will see right here at the bottom of the page in huge writing, it says it again. Warning you, do not use these projectors. Do not use them. Because now we have no way to help you if you do this and you don't read this. You will not get your money back. So you know this from the door. I mean, I'm telling you from the door. If anyone wants to sit there and say, hey, no, no, no. I'm not you. Give me at the end of the day so you can understand this before you try to use this against me. I'm not you. We have exchange policies for projectors that are supported by our technology. We do not support knockoff machines. Because for some reason, that thick hit of his doesn't sometimes process. Jamie filters out what he wants to hear and says nasty things in the background. This is why I try not to entertain this guy at the end of the day because, again, we're going to court for that dumb nonsense. So we'll let the courts handle that. But let me make this crystal clear so no one tries to twist my words around. We don't support the projector. We don't support any projector unless it's found on the list. If you go and buy this screen paint, you buy this product, you open it up, you use it, you display it onto a screen, let me know how you're going to Harry Potter that thing back into a container and send me back 100% of my product so basically I can resell it 
again to somebody with a name brand projector this is a business at the end of the day not a hobby so you can understand this this is for particular customers not other customers we have other customers who already know but this is for those particular customers who basically feel that the specification on this hyped up machine is going to work on our product and I'm here to tell you no so since I'm not going to take money out of my pocket to design a gray screen paint to send over to you for free because you didn't read the specifications and realize that we don't support it I've sent in video demonstrations we even do tests on knockoff projectors versus our screen it's in the test to show you they do not work so you can go to your bank of institution, you can do a chargeback all you want. I'll send that policy right over to your bank and they'll say, gee whiz, the guy sat there and said he doesn't support it. This is your projector, such and so and so, and you will lose your claim. Just like the fellow who claimed that the screen came up too dark and we told him, send the product back. You've seen me do that before. Send it back here. We'll test it out here. He refused to send it. We have an email conversation between him, me and him back and forth me requesting him give him my address send it back <coughs> in the blue house and he said oh no it's not worth the time and the effort and this that and the other and it comes up and says it doesn't work well you want to file your complaint correctly right I went over to PayPal and I sent him the email I was having the conversation asking you to send the package back so we can test the product on camera and then if it works uh, then we at the end of the day there's nothing wrong with it and if it doesn't then basically we'll go back and we'll get you an exchange for a better one and we'll test it before we ship it out to you so you know it works as we did when we first shipped it to you and he refused to because he knew the product worked we have those two those individuals who try to keep our product and money at the same time that's why our products are tested so I knew what he was doing from the door because I've seen that before I forgot what that guy's name was but anyway yeah, but that's what I'm telling you from the door. Now, the other ones are going to sit there and say, and I tell you right there from the door, oh, we support it. He might not support it, but we support it. Of course you support that crap at the end of the day, those projectors. And of course it's going to show up on your products. But the problem you're going to have here is you're still going to have the same problem at the end of the day. It's not going to pull contrast because your screen paints don't pull contrast. They don't see color correctly. If that was the case, you wouldn't be sitting up there, half y'all sitting there with a uh, $3,000 or $3,300 P2 projector in a dark environment 24 hours doing demonstrations. The screen doesn't even pull up properly. And I don't want to get into the whole thing about the whole matching house paint. You know where that goes at the end of the day. We're not going down that road. It's not about that. But you know what you're getting yourself into with that one. But anyway um yeah don't do it i'm just saying it from the door don't do it all right i gotta come back in i want to talk about this right here that conversation right there with that whole pixel shifting thing and i and and we gotta wait until april the 10th why do you gotta wait until april the 10th they got people reviewing this projector right now why don't you just give it to one of them and ask them to do it all right i gotta put that on there because i need to have that as clear as day i'll be back in